The reuse of building materials can help us tackle challenges such as climate change, waste generation, resource depletion, but it also brings its own set of challenges. It's about digitalization for circular construction, so um, it's actually about the entire process around reuse. So we did really practical work. In this course, I wanted it to be very hands-on, so we disassembled an entire building and with the reclaimed materials, we built a new structure with the students. I also wanted the course to be about exploring the digital technologies that we study in our research. And so we looked at digital fabrication, at material passports and so on. And finally, I also wanted this course to bring experts from practice and academia and politics into the classroom. There were about 20 students from different levels, from bachelor to PhD level, from different backgrounds, civil engineering, architecture, computer science, and so on. And they all worked together and brought all of their competences together to work on this project. <laughs> First day, we've already started using drones uh, for photogrammetry. It's, like, it's my new job. <laughs> Drone calibrator. <laughs> we explored the use of drones. So drones help us capture images of the exterior of buildings as well as the interior. Um, it helps us go into these places that are not so accessible by humans, uh, such as the roofs of buildings or corners that are higher up. The most accurate digitization method we used is LiDAR, which takes measurements based on measuring the time of flight of individual laser pulses throughout the scene. That allows us to take millions of measurements at one time, as opposed to going around and taking individual measurements with a tape measure or so on we're able to extract a full inventory of the components and know how they can be reused. Also mich hat auch sehr interessiert diese Verbindung von den digitalen und den wirklich was auf der Baustelle passiert. Mit Fotogrammetrie, also wo einfach Bilder ähm, gemacht wurden und dann von einer Software verarbeitet wurden, so dass wir am Ende eine Point Cloud, also eine Punktwolke haben. We disassembled the entire building and reclaimed as much materials as we could. On the one hand, we had timber beams that we could reuse for our optimization later on in the course. And on the other hand, we had timber panels that we could use for the Rebuild Ukraine initiative. We have angefangen, dass Gebäude wirklich auseinander zu bauen. Es ist ja ein altes Gebäude und man sieht, okay, früher hat man das so verbunden, damit hätten wir vielleicht gar nicht gerechnet. Hier braucht man mal ein anderes Werkzeug, als man dachte. Man muss erstmal verstehen, wie es zusammengebaut wurde, um es dann wieder auseinanderzubauen. Getting hands-on experience is always something very different, meaning that Always when you come to a construction site, it is never as you planned and it will always go something, maybe not wrong, but unexpected. We want to engrave QR codes into this material. And so when you scan the QR code, what it will take you to is this uh, back-end website that has the material passport information. So any user or the building owner or a potential buyer can go up, scan the QR code with their phone and get the information that they might need uh, embedded on the products right there. So because in reuse, we're working with entirely unique materials, we have to approach design differently. We produce the design using computational design algorithms, both to work with these uncertain materials, as well as to ensure that our new construction is minimally wasteful. Also Im Grunde kommt dann aus diesem Design auch schon viel für die Baustelle ähm, automatisch raus. Es wird automatisch generiert. So in this case, it will in fact give us multiple options to work with. 
From there, we can choose the design option that fits us best. Now we are CNC cutting the circles which are going to go inside the pipes um, and they function as connectors and these circles will reinforce the connector. This process uses computer control to produce components at the exact diameter of the pipes we were using for a tight fit. The most important thing I learned is about the collaboration between humans and computers. Because with digitalization you can do many things, but the computers they can't capture certain details or nuances that humans can capture really well. And I think how these two work together, it's really a really interesting question and challenge in reuse. I believe that reuse is the most efficient and most direct way to avoid carbon emissions. I think it just has to be propagated more.